Oh, but Paris isn't for changing planes. It's for changing your outlook. For throwing open the windows and letting in the vie Bonjour. We're in Paris. Let's go to the top of the Eiffel Tower. If you're planning to go, book your tickets early. I mean months ahead. I got mine over seven weeks early and still everything was sold out except top tier tickets, which included a small flute drink for 19 euros. More expensive than New York City cocktails. You can take the elevator to level two and you have to switch to get to the summit and then you can take it down to level 2 and walk down the rest of the way if you don't want to wait for the elevator to the ground floor. If you have a chance, look for a photographer around the grounds who takes vintage style photos for free, donations suggested. By the way, the eclairs and other pastries from the ground stands were so good. I love how French pastries taste fresh and not as sweet as American ones. It was my first time trying frog legs. It wasn't too bad. I tried not to think about it too much or let it remind me of dissecting frogs in high school bio. The escargots were my favorite. The garlic butter sauce makes everything so good. There are many boat tours around the Seine River. I went with Fedette du Pont Neuf. Hindsight, I wish I did a smaller group or private boat tour. Other options are hop on, hop off buses, big red or two bus are some, motorcycle sidecar tours, or just plain walking. Cela vous prendrait quand même trois mois, jour et nuit, pour explorer la totalité du musée. And if you wanted to look at all of them for only three seconds each, it would still take you three months, day and night, to explore the whole museum. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you're planning to go, bon voyage! It is late at night, and someone across the way is playing La Vie en Rose. It is the French way of saying, I am looking at the world through rose-colored glasses, and it says everything I feel.